Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 2nd of September for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be grateful if you did now. Also, would you be good enough in the top right hand corner of this video to click on the bell? Just beneath that is a wheel. If you can turn on your alerts, Every time I release material, you'll be told about it. This week sees a collection of energy continue in the sign of Virgo, which of course is earthy, it's practical, it's the sixth solar house. It's very much about the detail of things, about being discriminating. It's about where we can work hard and be industrious, but get some kind of tangible result. The sixth house can also be being of service to others, or it can be about organisation. But whether we're helping others, we're applying our energy to our work, our health and fitness and dietary regimes, or we're just trying to get more organised in our home environment, this collection of energy and its angle to Saturn suggests that if we take action that's well thought through and planned, it has a tremendous chance of sticking around and having some kind of lasting benefit. You might be thinking, what's not to like? And you're quite right. It's just that on the other side of the heavens is Neptune. Neptune's very much to do with dreaminess. It's the spiritual side of life. And it is in opposition with these Virgo planets. It's actually forging a very positive angle, a sextile with Saturn. But its opposition suggests, particularly with Venus, that in a romantic context, if there is someone that we're strongly drawn towards, it's going to be important to stay very grounded. Neptune can distort things, but then its opposition with the Sun and Mars can drain away the uh, amount of energy and productivity that actually Virgo are pushing us to invest. How do we find the balance? I think it's to make sure that we don't have any fanciful thoughts that what we're working with is very grounded. And if we stay in that realm and don't let our minds wander, there's much a much greater chance that we can make this week work for us. Also, as the week draws to a close, Venus moves into a sensational angle to Pluto. If there is somebody that you really value in your world, the chances are this is going to become a more enriching situation, one which you can be more conscious of. But the quarter moon, which occurs on Friday in the sign of Sagittarius, also says to us that if we spend too much time trying to be very virtuous and doing all the right things, we could end up feeling a little bit resentful. So it is going to be important to pace ourselves and to prioritise too. Your specific forecast, Cancer, gives you an awful lot of thrust, particularly in terms of your thinking and actions. You may find yourself actually wanting to move around quite a lot with the sun alongside Mars. But if there are things to debate, you may find yourself much more outgoing than is usually the case. With Saturn in the mix, you could have a very important conversation or meeting with someone influential. This may be in a professional context or a personal one, but if you do talk things through, as long as you're absolutely clear on where you're coming from and your facts and figures, it could be very helpful indeed. In fact, a conversation towards the end of the week with Venus and Pluto sparkling together could see you really attracted to someone, someone with quite an intense but charismatic personality. But the quarter moon, which occurs as the week draws to a close, also asked you not to try and pack too much in this week. Pace yourself, or you could end up feeling a bit jaded or even a bit stressed out. If you'd like to know more about personal astrology based on your time, date and place of birth, please click on the link beneath this video. You can buy a 12-month forecast and a character analysis for 30% off or choose to have a one-to-one -one consultation with me. But for now, it's been a pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye.